Good morning, Colfax, and welcome back to the very first CTV episode of the 2019-2020 school year. We have the largest and most enthusiastic and youngest staff in history. For the past few weeks, your CTV team has been working diligently to train a new staff and bring you the stories of Colfax. Today, we go behind the scenes of our annual honor game, look into how Colfax students are changing the world, get some homecoming tips, and Mary Rourke kicks off our very first sports show. Welcome to the show. This season, we have a new human interest segment called Falcon of the Week. Colfax, meet your very first Spotlight Falcons, Madeline Kramer and Mackenzie Ketwig, who have been planning a climate change event since April, and it all came together on September 12th, and CTV was there to cover it. Recently, a group of Colfax senior girls joined together to help make a significant difference in the minds of Auburn residents regarding climate change. By creating and hosting an event at the State Theater, these Colfax students intend to kickstart positive change. So something that I think that people can do to help prevent climate change is become more aware of not only politics in regards to things concerning what's happening with our climate right now, but also to be able to say that they are recognizing their own carbon footprints that they are having on the world. I published this book, Climate Challenge versus Pseudoscience. Uh, I then found out it's really hard to get people to buy your book. Award-winning climate scientist and published author Dana Nusatelli was there presenting his thoughts on climate change to a stunning audience of 350 people. I'm hoping that people, more people will become engaged in trying to do something to address climate change, like get involved in grassroots organizations or at least you know, doing something about their own personal carbon footprint and you know, voting accordingly and you know, considering climate change as the top priority. So that's kind of what I'm hoping will come out of this. We talked to a co-host of the event and president of Colfax High School's Environmental Club to understand the purpose of this event and what the chairs hoped people took away from this important occasion. We are really running out of time to act on the climate. This is not something that's made up. This is real. This is happening right now in this world, and we're really running out of time. And I'm hoping that people will realize that it's not like a lot of people refuse to make changes because they think that they're one person and it won't matter. But if we're all thinking that, nothing's going to change. So I'm hoping that that mindset's going to shift tonight as we build community. But I also really hope that this event inspires people in the community to go out and take action themselves. It's supposed to show everyone that, yes, while we are doing individual things and sometimes it can feel like it's not significant. Everyone is doing individual things and they all add up. I'm Otania Mira with Camera Ops Alex Martell and Lauren Maynard with editor Gabriel Priat with CTV signing off. The sold out event took a complex topic and gave the audience real and simple ways to be a part of the solution. Congratulations to all the youth leaders who made it possible. Including you Otania because I know you created the video for the event and so many environmental club students were on hand working to make sure it was a success. Just over a week ago, I had the privilege of working with my team to host the annual honor game for the fourth year in a row. I was able to document the whole experience and all the work leadership put into this celebration. Hi. Hi. Let me help you. Oh my oh, word. Thank you. Look at this, everybody. <laughs> Each and every year, Colfax Leadership designs, plans, and executes the Honor Game, a NEST event that's aimed to honor active military, veterans, and first responders. The first step is sending out the Cookie Brigade to invite our honored guests. We just got back delivering the cookies and brownies to the local sheriff departments. We have three other teams. Some of them are going to the veterans' homes and the fire departments and CHP in the area. Everyone was so happy to get their brownies. It was a lot of fun. It was really fun just like honoring them and inviting them to our annual game. The weeks leading up to the honor game, leadership's primary focus is writing scripts, making posters, and organizing our honor walk, displays, and halftime show. When the Friday night lights shine bright, it's time to make all of our hard work look easy. I don't care if you got issues. Daddy left, but I'm with you. So come with me and never look back. We're living life like a badass.
At the end of the night, the honor game is really about honoring our local heroes and the community that supports them. The sheriff's office really respects you guys for having us out here and showing your support for local law enforcement and for the military and for the other first responders in the area. It makes us feel uh, really special and appreciated. That was a really fun event, and more fun is just around the corner as homecoming is nearly here. Mr. Wolf grabbed a mic and checked in with the leadership team to see how Colfax can get their game on for HOCO 2019. So many fun days and nights coming up. I'm particularly looking forward to the food trucks at the night rally and the giant board game on Thursday. I absolutely love the work nights and I'm looking forward to the blackout at both the night rally and the nest on Friday. And don't forget about the tailgate as well as all the activities and events your leadership team has organized. We are just over six weeks into the year and the fall sports season is in full swing and Mary Rourke is ready to kick off the CTV sports show. Mary? I'm Mary O'Rourke and this is CTV Sports. Today we will go around the Pioneer Valley and get you caught up on the league. Football is off to a 2-2 two two start and we caught up with Coach Martello to get the inside scoop on the team. Let's go.
With only one game left in the preseason, the football team is gearing up for back-to-back -back home games, featuring the Neon Lights game versus Wheatland this Friday night and a highly anticipated league opener for homecoming against PVL contender Foothill. We spend a little time with Coach Martella to get a feel for this year's team. The Colfax football program is coming off a 2018 season that included a Pioneer Valley League Championship, a section championship, and a state title appearance, and they are looking to make their mark on Colfax in 2019. The team is currently 2-2, two and, two, and they are playing without the services of offensive weapon, senior running back Daniel Bliss, and the bulldozer offensive lineman Wiley Drummond, whose return is questionable. Coach Tony Martello knows that every team is unique, that he will need to tap into their strengths. We are a, a young football team, and in order for this team to be successful and continue to be successful, we're going to have to truly pay attention to details, and we're going to have to get better at our technique and just play a little bit more efficiently. The strengths of this football team is, number one, we have really good team speed. Um, we can run, we run well. The two-headed quarterback offense featuring Travin Hyman and Wyatt Newman keeps teams guessing and started clicking when the Falcons reeled off 14 straight points against Calusa just two weeks ago. John Beckman and Peter O'Brien have been on the other end of both quarterbacks' passes, racking up 119 receiving yards, and David Martinez has been hammering away at the opposing team's defense, averaging nearly 100 yards a game on the ground throughout three games. A light but nimble defense, led by two-way senior Peter O'Brien, is finding its footing and will need to come up with key plays for the Falcons to soar. Wheatland will be the final preseason game before the Falcons face off against Foothill, who will pose the biggest test of the season on homecoming night, and Coach Martello is counting on a little nest magic for both games. It's magical to play at Colfax, and the reason's real, the answer's real simple. Our student section is dynamic. With the Colfax football team, I'm Gabriella Bittner for CTV Sports. The cross country team has had a great start to their season. Billy Groth captured third overall at the Colfax meet on Wednesday. We talked to him right after the race to get a snapshot of the upcoming PVL season. Congratulations to all of our runners for making a statement at their very first PVL meet of the season. The girls volleyball team has proved themselves once again as they defeated Placer just last week in a nail-biting five-game match. They also grabbed a win against Woodland and we talked to varsity middle blocker Grace Bliss to find out what we should expect this season. I'm here with Grace Bliss at the Poochie Pavilion. Grace, how do you think you did this game? Um, I think we had kind of a shaky start in that second game. We definitely should have won. But other than that, we fought hard and ended up with the win. So that's really all that matters. Do you have any highlight players, back row or front row? I mean, back row, you got to give credit to Haley Mielik. She does a lot back there, like has more than double any other digs than any other person on the team. Um, up front, I would say Kayla with her just big block and hits and tips and just a smart player and I mean Nelly really gets the balls to girls and just has really nice sets for people to finish. And how do you think you're going to do overall in the PBL race this year? I think we're going to win PBL. I mean Bear River will probably be our hardest matchup but once we get through them which I know we will I think we're set and then playoffs and then hopefully sections. In our second show, we will spend some time with the volleyball team to see what makes them tick. And our reporters will get the scoop from athletes all across campus in Around the PVL. Until then, Falcon Nation, I will see you in the nest with bright colors this Friday and your homecoming shirts for homecoming, where you just might get yourself a free commemorative rally towel. Until then, I'm Mary O'Rourke.
Thank you, Mary. With PVL play right around the corner, I know you and your team will be busy covering the action. Special thanks to Mr. Devine, who consistently provides our sports team with great football action footage. The CTV team will be working on the homecoming highlight video for the dance next week, and we'll be back with our second show on October 8th. But until then, I'm Lindsay Talman. And I'm Atania Miro. Have a good day, Colfax.